Hello, this is Paul from Fast Attack. In this video, uh, I will introduce three formulas to calculate the curvature for a space curve. And the first is kappa. This is the definition of uh, the curvature, right? And uh, by the uh, parameter s, arc length. But that's not good for us to do calculation. Uh, Instead of the parameter s, we change it to the parameter t. Therefore, we have two formulas for easy calculation. So, here. This is the first, and this is the second. And then we have the third formula here, okay, which is just a special case of a plane curve, y equals fx. So, let's see why uh, these three formulas are correct, just using the definition. We can prove it. See the first. Um, why we can find this? Okay, so look at uh, what the difference. Okay, so the, from the original definition, uh, take a derivative. So uh, you need a you need a tangent vector take a derivative to s, right? But now we have to change take a derivative to t. So what do we do? We just uh, use the chain rule of cards. S is a function of t. Or we simply say t is a function of x. Chain rule. Okay, so now. Okay, that's the definition. So by chain rule, I can write it in this way. Right. Okay. And then uh, the denominator. So ds dt is a scalar number, positive. So we can take out uh, from the magnitude. And uh, so easy to look at it, the denominator. Okay, so. The denominator should be the magnitude of r take derivative. Uh, I will show you. And then we we'll look at the numerator. I changed the, the uh, notation of the numerator, which is the derivative of t, right? Magnitude. And the denominator. So let me just show a little. Uh, the definition of arc length is this. Right, okay, so therefore by the fundamental part of one, so we learned about four, derivative of s, exactly equal this. So I do know what is ds dt. So let me put a ds dt in this. Okay, see, and that's the proof for the first formula. <clears throat> and then look at the second. So the second formula, uh, we well, all we use the original curve. We not use the capital T. So how to do? We just uh, do calculation to find out what the derivative of the capital T, right? The unit tension vector is good enough. So we do this calculation. First, uh, I need to get uh, this. Uh, what is the first derivative of R? And uh, this is a vector. So the vector has two parts, okay, the magnitude and the direction. So I can easily write it into this. Okay. And see this is the magnitude. And this is the unit tangent vector. Tangent vector, right? So the unit tangent vector. Of course, this should be true. And then uh, I need to find the second derivative. And this is a product. So we have to use the product the rule. And the first take a derivative. So the first, uh, let me change. Okay, change a little. So this is just a word. This is the derivative for s, right? Okay, derivative for s to t. So it's better I put this. Okay, and the steer I use the product rule, and therefore the first uh, ds dt take a derivative to t. Second derivative plus. Capital T take a derivative. This is a product of the rule, okay. Of a derivative. And now we look at the cross product. Because can you see here? We should get a cross product, right? So the cross product so we can distribute it, right? So one term cross one term plus the term across another distributor. So therefore we should have this. Okay, that's the first term and the second term. 
and uh, look at it the first time does disappear because that's zero you know a vector cross itself so it's zero vector get okay, disappear so therefore we only have one term now easy and the back we need to find it the norm okay so I go to the norm now our oh, magnitude okay uh, this magnitude that should be yeah and then now was the magnitude of the cross product and then we do have a formula which is uh, the area of uh, the parallelogram formed by these two vectors but we do know something about these two vectors they are perpendicular is that okay so they are perpendicular see because the norm of this equals one okay so you have this small result before okay so these two vectors are perpendicular so therefore the norm of uh, the magnitude of this is just the magnitude of one times the magnitude of the other so right and the first this is a unit vector so this one uh, therefore very good so now we find the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent okay I can solve this one so okay and then I can use the first formula we get a C I already find the numerator okay so put it into the first formula we should find the second formula uh, uh, let me change a little what is DSDT we do know right DSDT is just a derivative uh, magnitude is the magnitude of the derivative the first derivative now we should have the second formula so can you see and we find the numerator this is the first formula right so and then this plug into the numerator and therefore the denominator r prime should go to the third power and then we have this formula okay so here is the first formula so now we get the second formula yeah and then we have one more formula left so back to the special case okay if you have a plane curve how do you get the formula uh, see the formula use uh, x as a parameter so it's very easy okay we can extend the plane curve into three dimension because okay? so therefore I can use uh, uh, I use this formula okay I use the second formula to find the third for y equals fx this is a plane okay so I can write r uh, I use x as a parameter so this is this curve x is x right y is fx and you can stand to three dimension and then we have to use the cross okay therefore i put a z which is zero right now i find that the first derivative i find that the second derivative and then i can use this second formula see the first uh, cross the second okay and uh, I think uh, easy to get uh, was this and this cross this uh, I'll leave this for you okay so easy verify uh, the first uh, the first is zero okay the first uh, component should be zero the second uh, zero zero should also be zero the third should it be the second derivative okay easy to, to calculation you can get it by yourself now we have the formula can you see this is the second formula we have a right so now plug into the numerator and also the denominator okay we should define it. the third formula which is this the numerator is the magnitude or or the absolute value now okay here or the denominator the denominator is here is the magnitude that is to the third power okay so the magnitude is a one plus f prime square 
raised to one half the power, right? And then raised to the third power, which is a three over two the power. And that's the third formula. Okay. That's the proof. That's all. Thank you.